man. It's your boy Drake the Dark Man signing back in and once again after a long time. Yes, it has been a month, man. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for the wait, dog. But I've been getting ready, getting school over with. So school out of the way. I'm done with school. Just gotta wait till June, June the first, June the first, and I'll be you know out of there, man. You know high school. I'm a senior now, but I'm I'm finished. So I'm happy. You know I'm in a great greater place. So now I can kind of grind more and do you know more story time videos and more videos on YouTube for y'all. But with that in mind, man, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Like I said, I'm sorry if I haven't been around for a month, and I want to, you know, shout out to my, you know, the greatest supporters I got out there, man. So I want to shout out to them, man. But anyways, let's jump into the story time video. But yeah, man, this is a crazy video, man, about my crazy ex. Crazy ex. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. Hope you guys like. Before we start it, just one more time before we start it, man, please hit the like button, button below, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends so, you know, I can grow and we can grow as a family, man. I will remember y'all. Right? But, man, let's go ahead and jump into it, man. So, so yeah, man, this story talk, it starts off uh, like, I guess you would say, about back in my dual enrollment days back at Polk State, man, you know. It was, it was pretty crazy, but, you know, I met a girl, you know what I'm saying, her name, I can't say her name, man, but it was, it was something crazy. We was talking for about six months, you know, and it was getting, it was pretty good, pretty good relationship, man, you know, I got to know her a little bit, you know, having fun, going places, doing things, you know what I'm saying, because I had some freedom, because I was, you know, in high school, but doing college at the same time, so it was pretty, it was pretty intense. But besides that, man, let's get into the, the little freaky, little freaky, you feel me, the little freaky part of the story. So, um, you know, when you take a break with somebody, usually it's kind of like, you know, give me my space. You know, I'm kind of busy. I need to do some things. Because at the time, I had some things I needed to pass, like some stuff I needed to pass. And I felt like that, you know, she wasn't in the way. Or just like, like, it's just I need my space. Sometimes I need my space sometimes. A lot of people don't understand that. Like sometimes dudes, when they say need space, they really need space. So I was like, you know, give me my space. You know, week went by, whatever. She, you know, doing, you know, started... It was straight, she was giving me my space, you know, I was having fun. But then she started like, like kept rushing me, like, oh, when are you gonna have your space, this, is and that. I'm like, I'm not talking to anybody else, obviously. It's just, I need my space. I'm kind of focus, trying to focus on school, you know, a couple classes, you know, a couple deadlines I have to meet. <sighs> Next thing you know, man, I mean, you know, she, she keeps coming at me, like I'll be walking to my car or whatever. And she'll, you know, walk beside me and be like, okay, is your break over? I'm ready for your break to be over. I'm like, just be patient just for a little bit longer, just for a little bit longer. And then, you know, she's, she started doing like, you know, clingy stuff. And I'm like, you know what, man, I don't, I'm not feeling this relationship no more. You know, I wanted a break. You couldn't give me that. So I'm just going to go ahead and part my separate ways. So when I said I was going to part my separate rate, se separate ways, obviously my back can't talk this morning. It's kind of early. But, you know, it was cool for the first week. It was cool. We, we, we didn't, for the whole bro breakup, it was like two weeks after the breakup. You know, it was kind of the cool down era. After the second week, you know, I was cool down. I was ready to go try to find, not try to find, but, you know, somebody was coming to me, like, I was accepting applications. I was accepting applications at the time, if you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Girlfriend applications on debt, you feel me? But I'm just playing, forget all that. I ain't even say that. But anyways, so I get, I get a text on my phone, you know, I'm like, you know, she said, um, my name is KK, I'm from this school, and, um, you know, I think you, you know, I want to get to know you, I seen you on Instagram, your last picture you posted, because that day I happened to post a picture on Instagram, she was like, um, send me a picture, and then, you know, I'll see if I really like you, or whatever, I'm like, okay, cool, I sent her the picture, she liked me, she was cute, she sent me a picture of her, like I said, I was like, okay, cool, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try, she light skin, she cute, you know, got a little body to her, so let me you know. Let me go ahead and see what I could do, man. You feel me? But you know, <clears throat> then she texts me later on that day. Like I usually leave around like one o'clock. She texts me around twelve. She was like, you know, um, I'm dropping my friend off at Polk State or whatever. Um, I'm gonna be up there. So when do you want to meet up? Um, can we meet up or whatever? When I'm at Polk State, because I know you're already there. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm here right now. Just tell me when you're outside. So she texts me, hit me up, boom, boom, boom. She's like, I'm outside, I'm in a green car, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I'm like, she's already out there. So I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm not trusting this because I don't even know this girl. So I'm like, you know, my homeboy, I was like, you know, his name was Todd. I was like, Todd, man, you know, can you come out here? You know, you know, make sure everything's straight. Make sure ain't nobody trying to hit a lick on me or trying to finesse me or whatever. So next thing you know, um, he walks out there with me. And he was like, you know, all right, come on, bro, where's she at? You know what I'm saying? Because he knew her. He was like, oh, my God, that's KK or whatever. When he seen the car, we seen a car. I look in the passenger seat. And this, 
it's my ex in the passenger seat. I'm like, whoa, wait, 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 whoa. I thought this was KK. So I'm like, pause, just pause, wait a minute. Okay, so obviously it was a setup. She set me up, I guess, to see if I was trying to talk to another girl, but it didn't matter because, you know, we were already broken up. So she was like, you know what, I, I see how it is. This is how we do this is now. I was like, what are you talking about? You know, we're broken, we broken up for like almost a month now. So I'm, I mean, what do you expect? And then she was like, oh, this is and this. I really like you, this is and this. I'm like, okay, cool. But I kind of want to go my separate ways. And then she started walking up to me like she's ready to fight. I'm like, you know what? It's not even worth all this. Just calm down. We're in a, you know, obviously a college parking lot. Just calm down, you know, don't cause a big scene. Nothing serious, nothing serious, you know. I just pretty much, you know, detoured her away from the whole violence the violence area but then after that you know i went back to class i actually went back to class you know he's talking about it you know the boys joking about it you know he's talking about oh you was about to get jumped by some females or whatever i was like man chill chill coach chill i wasn't finna get jumped you know what i'm saying anyway but okay this is where it really gets crazy when i was walking back to my car you know, me and my boys, we had football practice or whatever that day. That's why I usually leave around 1 or 1.30 so I can make football. I think it was spring practice. Yeah, so I can make that. So we walk into the car, man. You know, I dop them up. You know, we talking about, you know, females, you know, talking about the typical stuff. You feel me? So next thing you know, you know, I'm getting to my car, you know, get my keys out my backpack, man. You know, I'm ready to go, ready to go to practice, ready to put that work in. I unlock my car. Supposedly, supposedly, I had it locked. I thought I did, but actually it was unlocked. I opened the door. I look in the back. Well, actually, I, I just opened the door. And then she's talking about something. Well, hello. I said, whoa, pause, pause. Wait a minute. How did you get in here? First of all, why is your feet on my seat? So with that in mind, I'm like, man, come on now. You really was about to get hit. Like, I was going to, you know, hit on with that. You know, you feel me? But like... Then she was like, uh, pretty much at this time, it was probably about maybe 110 at this time or 115 at this time, I guess you could say in the evening. And I had practice, I had to be at practice like 2.30. So, I mean, it didn't take that long to get there, but I like to get there in time, you know, you know, holler at the boys right quick, you feel me? Do that type of stuff. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, now you're just doing way too much. You kind of finna make me mad. Just please get out of the car, you know, go about your day. Please, please, please get out of the car. Next time I know, she said, oh, oh, you ain't gonna do nothing, you know, make me get out, make me get out, you ain't gonna do nothing, this, this, and that, that, and the other. I'm like, man, come on now, please, just get out, you're doing too much, you're causing a big scene, now you're definitely causing a big scene, you won't get out of my car, this, this, and that, and the other. And she was like, you know what, you're not even gonna make me get out, you know, the typical female talks. I'm like, okay, all right, see how it is, I just gave it a second to calm down, I said, like, okay, come on, come on, come out. She finally, I finally got her to come out, I talked to her into coming out. <sighs> So it's like my camera cut out. I'm sorry about that, but you know it was it was a crazy experience. It's something I'm not used to, and something you know that people don't usually go through. I mean, people have crazier stories, but you know it's pretty it was pretty crazy. It was pretty tough, dog. But I mean, I got through it. You feel me? You know, I eventually you know we're on decent terms now. I don't communicate with her at all. You know, it's just I have a block on everything, so it's straight. That's a done deal. That's that way. Anyway, that way. You feel me? But, um, yeah, man, thank y'all for watching the video, man. It's your boy, Dre the Dark, man. Um, I will be live streaming today, so if you want to hit that up or hit me up or, um, or whatever, trying to play Fortnite with me, you know, then go ahead, man, because I'm going to be live streaming for a pretty good little minute. I'm going to unlock the new, the max um, Dark Knight outfit or whatever. But, yeah, with that in mind, man, hit me up on my Snapchat. I'm going to have a group Snapchat for all my subscribers. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm, I'm going to be, you know, communicating with, with y'all on that, too. Sorry about that. I can't really talk at all. I'm very sorry. But, then on Twitter, man. Hit me up on Twitter, dog. It's all it's all gonna be right here or here, 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 wherever you wanna be at, man. Check out my last video, man, which has been a while. But yeah, man, please follow me on all social media so y'all know what's going on. That's why I like I tell y'all to follow me on Twitter, because that whole month I was on Twitter. But yeah, man, just follow me on Twitter, stay tuned, and you know, with new updates or upcoming videos, so y'all be the first ones to like them or first ones to see them, especially when I live stream, so y'all be the first ones to be in the live stream, man. I know y'all like that. So, yeah, man, it's your boy Dre the Dark, man, and I, you know, I love making this video. It was nice, you know, hollering at y'all for a little bit, you know. Let me know if you have any questions about anything or any further questions or any video requests or anything you think I should do or, you know, to help my channel out, man. But it's your boy Dre the Dark, man, I'm signing out, and I hope y'all have a blessed day, y'all. All my niggas right as we do this for the thrill And many shit to decide and they say he saw me down But that's a real sight